Save the introductions, Jenna. What do you want? Well, aren't you blunt today? Well, it's quite a hard tale to tell. Well, I've got the time. As you can see, my lack of business is getting to me. You aren't washed up anymore, are you? Not a wrong sophomore on anymore? Is junior year taking its toll? Indeed. Now, uh, what is your business here? There's a photo floating around. Ah, uh, isn't there always? No, this one was produced and dated in a counterculture method. A Polaroid image. And what, may I ask, were the contents of that photograph? An incident of shame. And no regret for it hadn't been my call. I'm intrigued. Do you have them on you? Only one of them. The rest I have burnt after they have been passed along the student body like a show and tell such shit. Oh, well, I'll say it's unflattering considering the partner of choice and what looks like the henpeck smooch of a very drunk Jack Dunst. Not my choice. He stole that, unfortunately, some hipster with a that's so candid addiction captured it, and that very person is the one who passed along the photos. Now, how do you know that? The images were never passed around during the event. It was left over during homeroom and passed along by some really hungover nimrods, but no one was in possession of the photos until the next morning. And so you want me to find this person? So I may speak with him or her and ask her to reveal the truth. The truth? That I am loyal to my partner for two years and that I'm being framed. Okay. Okay. You know, I never really uh, delve into this unnecessary drama. Please. My love hasn't talked to me in two weeks. Come on. Don't cry. I'll get salt water on my desk. Get some mahogany. I'll do it for free. Thank you. I must be going. And Miles. If you find them, make them known of their wrongdoing. Make them pay. Hey, hey, Marvin. I need a favor. Sure thing, Miles. What do you need? I need a list of all the hipsters at the Johnson Place party three days ago. And anyone who might be there that delved in old bathroom photography. Oof, that's going to be tough. Seeing that it was a mostly junk gathering, I got a friend on the inside who can give you as much as he can. He hangs out with that crowd, currently working on a guided meeting with me on the ratification of the Constitution. How patriotic. So when can I meet him? Um, tomorrow. At Washington, he'll ask you if you want chocolate milk. Um... You respond with, but I don't like chocolate milk. That's how he'll know it's you. Okay, Marvin. Thanks. Yeah, he's weird like that. You want some chocolate milk, sir? Um, <clears throat> but I don't like chocolate milk. Oh, and I'm your guy, Nick Cooper. You have three miles. Nice to meet you, Nick. You too. Uh, some good news and some bad news. A little good, some bad, and... Uh, just show me what you have. Of course. Well, uh, my first resource is there were four people who went to that party who were told by four others that they saw Carrie Diaz, who was a major photography who worked for the school paper. Uh, nah, she's too clean for this kind of dirt. She's probably doing a story on Vaping. My next source is a little better. Uh, three people, two of them close to Jenna, told mm -hmm. me that they saw three hipsters at that party. Three hipsters. What are the names? Charlie Horowitz, Lena Sanford, and Luke Bennett. Charlie Horowitz? Isn't she a freshman at that party? I don't know. That's what they told me. I gotta leave. Marvin needs my copy of the Constitution. Alright, thank you. Thanks for your time. Alright, see you later. Charlie Horowitz. You know, Miles, you could just say hi. Hello, Charlie. I'm assuming you have questions to ask? Yes, about a certain party. Yeah, there have been rumors going around that I was at that party, but I can assure you that they are not true. I haven't touched a bottle or a vape pen in my life, and I don't plan on doing so in the next four years. Now, what makes you think I'll believe that? You don't have to. Just know that I was not at that party. Hmm. All right, maybe I believe you. Were you acquainted with anyone at that party? Only one. Only one, not two? Nope, not two. The names Luke Bennett and Lena Sanford sound familiar to you. Of course they do. They're in my photography class. On a night like that, we meet at Lena's to discuss aesthetic value over subject focus. Okay, you have convinced me. Is there any way I can reach them? They're on a class trip right now, but you can probably reach them through Skype. All right, Charlie, I'm uh, sorry to bother you. Oh, wait, wait. Who is that individual you were familiar with at that party? Oh, me and Dan Talbot have been communicating for a number of weeks now, though I actually doubt he was at that party. Dan Talbot? Not at that party? It's Jenna's expensive jewelry. He's her decorum. No Dane leaves the house without that. See, that's the thing. Talbot's not a meathead. We both share a common interest. 
For example, we were both jealous of Jenna's 1975 model Polaroid camera. Excuse me? Yeah, that'll be fine. Have you done what I asked? Well, why aren't you blunt today? Well, did you? Yes, I looked into it. And what are the results? My results? Um, look, you're going to want to get comfy because I'm going to tell you a story and you're going to tell me to stop when it stops being true. I've done since you kissed me that night. In fact, you've been seeing him for a number of weeks now. Well, listen. Hey, let me finish. Now, you thought your gorilla jock boyfriend wouldn't care about the side piece, but no, he has a heart. And when your cold hands could provide a warm home for it, he went towards a warmer crowd, specifically a hipster crowd, occupying his photography classes. And you just couldn't stand the idea of someone climbing the ranks of social hierarchies to steal your jewelry, could you? So you had someone use your 1975 Polaroid camera model, the one existing from past systems. The picture would float around, and due to Jack's reputation as an enthusiastic sophomore, you, with your goons or girlfriends backing you up, could convince the school that the kiss was unprecedented. This took Psyche's out of the picture, and no one would believe his pleas of the truth, even under the defensive blows and pummeling from your Talbot. And so began the birth of your loose end. As a hipster in photography, she would be suspected to have possession of the camera, but no blame could be placed on Charlie for the picture until I confirmed it based on testimony from your goons. So now, most know what I tell you here. Charlie's innocent, your jewelry has been confiscated, and I'm assuming your side piece as well. He would have bailed the minute you spread the rumor stop. it was. Just stop. I loved Dan. Well, um, you have a funny way of showing it. He reminded me too much of myself, Miles. I needed an escape. Which half of yourself? The one that used to critically think and elaborate, or the one that would frame innocent for a social position? We do what we need to do, Miles. No, Jenna. You need to do what you need to do.